In the beginning, it was about one ride to help one child. And others join. kids. Little did we know it would grow into a passion that has touched the whole community. Making a difference in the lives of so many children. seven years, we didn't realize that the hearts most touched would be ours. And finally, I want to th thank the writers themselves. This is, uh, this is truly special. It, it is, uh, we do a lot of things that touch our heart here at Midtown Medical Center. Uh, we, we have miracles happening every day inside this building that's right behind us. We have incredible physicians and incredible nurses. Uh, but these guys that are gone out uh, raising awareness for what's happening right here in Columbus, Georgia is truly touching. There's not many things that touch us more than the fact that these guys will leave their families, leave their homes, ride on a motorcycle hundreds of miles a day to go out there and tell the story about what's going on right here in Columbus, Georgia, right here inside this hospital, inside the neonatal intensive care unit, inside the pediatric unit, uh, inside the um, pediatric surgical program that we have. Uh, is truly touching. Thank you guys for going out there telling our stories. Thank you for raising awareness for children's health care and thank you for raising money for Children's Miracle Network. <laughs> Martin Thiel passed away yesterday and he touched this organization in a way that no one in my past has ever touched. 18 year old guy fought harder and showed more courage than any person that I've ever seen. And Martin's going to be missed, but I know that he's going to be with you guys. And thank God that Martin's resting comfortably, peacefully, and he'll be watching over you guys. And Godspeed. What do you say to family? Here they are. It's been an incredible seven years. I've had the pleasure of riding with 30 incredible men. They give everything. And they give it because it's here in their heart. I have the privilege of living in a community that gives from their heart. Where do we go from here? I have no idea. But seven years ago, I had no idea that we would be here either. We take what comes to us day by day. We strive to be good. We strive to make a difference. And that's what the Miracle Riders, these guys behind me, they do every day to make a difference. To make a difference in that one child's life. To make a difference in our community. And here it stands, right here in front of me. Everybody that loves this community, everybody that loves that baby crying over here in the background. Because <laughs> that's life. Should be a way of life 
Today was your last day And tomorrow was too late Could you say goodbye to yesterday? Or would you live each moment like your last? Leave old pictures in the past Donate every dime you had And what you call old friends you never see Reminisce on memories But you forget Thank you for everything you do. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think it's really cool that you drive around in 48 states to help sick babies. Thank you, Blinders, for all you do. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Scott and the Miracle Riders, thank you so much for all you've done over the past seven years. Scott, thank you so much for not only being a great humanitarian for the money you've raised, but for for bringing our community together. Thank you, Thank you, Scott. Scott. Thank you for raising money like for like me and my brother. We love you for all the hard work and all the things you do. We love you, Miracle Riders. Thank you for helping to um, make our two babies strong little fighters and healthy babies today. We love you and thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you, Miracle Riders, for making miracles happen. Woo! Thank you, Miracle Riders, for making miracles happen. It's for the kids, and we appreciate everything you're doing for us.
Have been